What up, YouTubers? It's Shiz Beats. Right now, I'm going to show you how to map your yeah, uh, Akai MPK 49 faders, um, uh, knobs, buttons to Logic Pro 8 faders, knobs, and, and buttons as far as your buttons for mute and stuff. Go. Um, when you first get your MPK, you know you can go to generic, you know, load up, load up the preset. All right. You go to Logic, you go to New, MP Project. You can create uh, either audio or software instruments, whatever one. We're going to do audio. And we're going to do 24. Because you know that Kai has uh, control bank A, B, and C. And each bank consists of eight faders. So what we want to do is we want to open up our mixing screen. And we want to deselect all of them. You can uh, probably just clip uh, out one or two. Now go back to track one, highlight it. Now what you want to do is, you want to move the fader. You want to go that on your shortcut on your keyboard, Apple L. It's going to bring up the controller assignments, and it's already going to be learned. It's going to say, no message received yet for volume. So what you want to do is, move your fader on your MPK. Now, you want to go back to your controller assignments, and you want to select your channel strip to index and keep it at number one, right? All right, so this is a breeze from there. You want to go to your second track. Click on your fader on your second track. Move your knob, your fader on your second MPK. Put it on index. And so on, you want to go to track three. Move fader on it, MPK, fader bank three. Now, if you don't want to keep setting it to index, you can leave it on fader bank. They both the same. I didn't see that much of a difference. But I like index because it seemed like it, once you hit the fader on your MPK, it, it actually controls it on your logic. So, you go back to your logic. Click on track four and do fader four. Click on five, fader five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. All right, now what you want to do is you want to hit unlearn. So what you just did is you just mapped it out for one through eight. You see on my screen it's moving faders on uh, logic. Alright? Now what you want to do is you want to go to bank B. But before we go to bank B, let's set up the pans and the mute buttons. I'm using mute because uh, you know if you're muting the beat instead of solo and you know solo uh, mutes everything. So let's do the pan. You go over to your first track, touch your pan. Control Apple L. All right, it says pan. Put it on fader bank one or index. It doesn't matter. Make sure it's one. Touch your knob. All right, and so on. Go to track two. Touch your knob. Go to track three. Touch your knob on three. Go to track four. Touch knob number four. Track five. Knob number five, knob six, I mean track six, knob six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. All right, once you got all that done, just unclick learn mode and then it should be mapped out. Everything should be lined up. All right, so let's do the mute buttons. Click on mute on your mixer, uncheck it, Apple L. It's going to bring up on your controller sign, it's going to say no message received yet, go to mute. Make sure it's on control bank A, hit your S1, press it again. 
Go to track two, press the mute, S2. Then go on track three, press the mute, unpress it, S3. Track four, mute it, unmute it, S4. Track five, and then you know, keep going down. Track six, track seven, track eight. Then you come over here, uncheck your learn. Now you see in the mixer screen when you hit your uh, S1, it's muted. You hit it again, it's unmuted. So four, all the way down. Make now, like, say if you get to one that's not met, what you do is, the one that's not met, which is five on here, you go to five, highlight your track, hit your mute, unmute, hit learn mode, hit S5. Make sure you switch your channel strip to fader bank and five. Or you can do index, either one. Fader Bank is the closest one before Fader Bank. So then hit unlearn. And it should work. And then, all right, let's go to track nine. Select track nine. Make sure you go to your bank B. All right. And then we're going to do the same steps as control bank A. Touch the fader. Apple L. It's going to come up, it's going to say channel strip, select track, hit fader bank, type in 9, then move your fader on F1, fader 1. Now if you notice that when it comes back, when you move your fader on F1, it says fader bank 1. You want to change it back to 9, then hit unlearn and make sure it works. It does. Alright. So what we do is go back to the mixer, track 10, touch the fader up and down, Apple L. Then we go to fader 2. Track 11. Fader uh, F3. Track 12, F4. Track 13, F5. Track 14, F6. 15, F7. Track 16, F6. All right. And do unlearn on your control assignments, and then it should be mapped all the way up. All right, we got 16. We got the faders mapped out. Now you do the same thing for your uh, panning. Same thing for your mute buttons. Uh, if you get stuck, you know you can actually go to a website that I'm about to post where you can download it, but you know, it's always better to learn it so that you don't have to rely on other people's information. The best way to do it is just learn it.